WG Mann is hoping that the justice system can force his husband to get treatment for his mental health. He's been off of his medication and in and out of jail for weeks. As KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn shows us, his case is precisely why mental health advocates say services are needed. The Devin that, that everybody sees right now is not the Devin I know. Shane Nealon wants to get his husband, 35-year-old Devin, back to the person he fell in love with. Right now, Devin is in the Lane County Jail, accused of misdemeanor assault. Police say earlier this week, he slapped his own mother. We've tried to get him help, and it just seems impossible. Shane says his husband suffers from schizophrenia and has been refusing to take his medication and get treatment. He says Devin has been arrested three times in recent months and is worried that if released again, he'll cause more trouble and land in jail again. And I'm really concerned that releasing him over and over, it eventually he is going to do something that is going to get him either seriously hurt or someone else. Shane tells me he hopes the court requires his husband to get the treatment he needs. And mental health experts tell me more services are needed to deal with the increasing number of people needing them. Unfortunately, this is a all too common problem. Elise Kohlauer is a crisis counselor at Whitebird Clinic. She says in some cases when mental illness goes untreated, it can lead to crime. An unfortunate reality, there is a shortage of mental health care in this town. Okay, didn't have all my writing, you know, oh, the Oregon State Hospital stole that. Earlier this month, police say this man, Gabriel Pemble, stabbed a stranger outside of the Starbucks in downtown Eugene, nearly killing him. Court documents show he was unfit to stand trial on a previous case due to mental illness. He is now facing attempted murder charges. Early intervention is the most important thing we can do to provide more mental health services here. Emergency psychiatry, counseling, and um, access to respite beds. Meanwhile, Shane hopes his husband gets the help he needs and doesn't fall through the cracks. I love him to death. Um, when he's out in the streets, I'm constantly trying to find him, trying to help him. In Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.